Hi everyone. So um, I was at PetSmart today and um, picking up crickets for my reptiles and um, my camera's shaking a little bit. There you go. Um, and I like to look at all the animals there. So I was looking at all the reptiles and um, just kind of watching and um, I was around the fish because I obviously needed to get crickets and at PetSmart they have the crickets by the fish. Um, apparently I like to tell stories when I talk <laughs> anyway. Um, so I was over there and I saw this like small looking frog thing in one of the fish tanks. It was the comet goldfish, the type the feeder fish that they sell for turtles or whatever. And so I was looking at it, looking at it. Finally a guy came over and was helping some other dude. Then he helped me and I said, is that a real tadpole? And he's like, oh yeah, it's a real tadpole. We get them in all the time. Apparently they breed with their feeder fish. When they breed their feeder fish, the tadpoles come in and, and use the same pond. And so they get a lot in. And I was like, oh, do you sell them? Um, because at Petco, um, I asked a couple of times and they have a very strict policy. They do not sell any tadpoles at all. It's like they never even exist. And at this PetSmart, he was like, yeah, we sell, we sell them. And I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. How much does he cost? And he's like, oh, we just sell them for the amount that the feeder fish are for like the 13 cents. And I went, oh, all right. Can I have them? And they're like, yeah, sure. So he bagged them up. So he was under the water when he was, um, in the tank and he was breathing just fine and everything and so they bagged him up, they put him in the water and I was carrying him around in the store and he seemed to be just fine and then, um, oops, <laughs> new camera, and then I got him into, um, and I went into Target a little bit later and came out and he was freaking out on me. Um, he would swim up to the top really, really fast and try and get up there and he's like bobbing up and down in the, at the top and then um, when you and then all of a sudden he would like curl up in a ball and kind of float down to the bottom and I was like oh crap is he dead is he dying and um, I would kind of poke him a little bit and he would like swim again so I was like I knew he wasn't dead so then um, he finally made his way to the top and kind of climbed up on the outside of the bag and was just sitting right there so I was like alright and every time he would hit the water he would get he would curl up back into his ball and pretend and like float there. So it's like, okay, so I'm like, so I tried to help him get back up to the top of the um, bag and I was holding the bag and driving at the same time, which was very dangerous, trying to like look at him, make sure he was okay, and I finally got him home. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna show you his setup in just a second. Um, I think he was actually ready to come out of the water and if I hadn't been there, the, um, I think he would have died. So yeah, I'm going to set up a terrestrial setup for him, so um, tell me what you think. I think he's an American toad. Other than that, I don't know. Um, yep, don't have a name for him yet, and so I need a name. So yeah, so tell me what you think. Put your comments in the comment bar. Thanks a lot. Okay, so here he is, and he's a froglet. Um, right now he's so tiny he's still got his tail um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep him I made him um, a mostly water habitat with a little bit of land as you can see um, but um, if he shows that he's ready to come out and he stays out the entire time then um, I'll make him um, I'll give him a terrestrial set up. So, yep, that's him. There's my finger. So he's really, oop, he's really, really tiny. <laughs> um, the other thing I need to do is, um, since I just got a bucket at Target, I need to, um, go ahead and punch holes in the lid for him. So that's something that I'll do tomorrow, because... Um, right now the walls, I think, are still a little high for him to, um, jump on. So, yeah. Um, so here, here he is. Um, not quite sure what he is yet. Um, he might be a toad of some sort, maybe American toad. Um, so if you have any ideas, let me know. Um, I don't think my camera will get close enough that you can actually see the, um, the pattern on him. Yeah, it's just, it's blurring. So, um, 
yeah, let me know. Um, he's also going to need a name, so give me ideas on name. So, yeah, that's him. Alright, he's in the water part now. It's kind of watery right there, and he's on some water and some rocks. So, I'm going to let him explore his new enclosure. And, yeah. Alright, thanks for watching.